Now, before we actually look at the solution, let me draw your attention to a very important point here. Without putting pen on paper, the first thing that should strike to you here is option B and option C cannot be the answers. These are all nonsense options. Why? See, the question clearly says that a person travels 285 kilometers in 6 hours. The total distance covered is 285 kilometers. And then some part of the journey by bus, the remaining part by train, we are required to understand how much distance or what part of the distance was covered by train. If your total distance covered is 285, how can the distance covered by train will be 615 or 561? Not possible. It has to be less than 285. So option A and option D are possible, right? 165 and 156 is possible. By any chance, if option D is also a non like B and C, you must be smart enough to mark the answer without having to do the proper solution, right? Just option A would be the correct answer. However, since two options were left, we'll have to do the complete solution. But it is important that you get such points as soon as you read the question. Are you able to follow? There is no method as such to decide. But then, by the time you finish reading the question, you should get some idea about the range of the answer, which is very, very important. And maybe options get eliminated, right? Here two have got eliminated. By any chance, if three options get eliminated, you are through. You know what the answer is. However, let's look at the solution. And not really a difficult one. I'm sure all of you have found it to be very simple. What does it say? A person travels 285 kilometers in 6 hours. In the first part of the journey, he travels at 40 kilometers per hour by bus and in the second part, he travels at 55 kilometers per hour by train. The distance traveled by train is. So basically, two different conveyances here. One is by bus, the other is by train. Total distance is what? 285. So we can say distance covered by bus plus distance covered by train is 285 and then time required to travel by train plus time required to travel by bus is equal to 6 hours. Two equations you will be able to solve, right? 6 hours. So one is the distance equation, the other is the time equation. What else do we know? In the first part he travels at 40 km per hour by bus and in the second part he travels at 55 km per hour by train. Okay. So this is one equation. Let's, let's keep it as it is. Distance by bus plus distance by train is 285. Let's work on the second part here, second equation here. What is time? Time is distance by speed. Yes or no? Speed is equal to distance by time. Time is distance by speed. So time taken by train can be taken as distance traveled by train divided by speed of train. What is the speed of train? 55. Plus time taken by bus. What is time taken by bus? The distance traveled by bus which is dB divided by the speed of bus. What is the speed of bus? 40 km per hour. This is equal to 6. Now if you observe, you have got two equations with two variables, right? Equation number one says dd plus dt is 285. Equation two says dt by 55 plus dv by 40 plus 6. Two equations, two variables, you can solve. But a better way of solving this question, in particular in this context, would be to go by options. We have only two options left. Check. Check the first one. If that satisfies, that's your answer. Otherwise, fourth option is your answer. Okay? See, one more hint which I would like to give you here is, I would have actually marked 165 as the answer without even doing any of these calculations. Anyway, second and third have got eliminated. The answer should either be option A or option D. I know that option D cannot be the answer without writing any of these equations here. Why? See, the point here is he's asking us to find out the distance that was covered by train. How much distance was traveled by train? What is the speed of the train? 55 kilometers per hour. 55 kilometers per hour. See, the point is, you know that distance is equal to speed into time. Yes or no? The speed of the train is 55 into some time t. The distance travelled by train should be 55 into some time t. Which means it should be a multiple of 55. Are you able to follow? The distance travelled by train has to be a multiple of 55. Is 156 a multiple of 55? No. 165? Yes. 55 into 3 is 165. So that looks to be a probable answer. I don't say that it cannot be, you know, I mean, the point is not that it it should always be multiple, it can be any multiple of 155, it can be any multiple of 55, you understand? We are first trying with integer multiples, for example, 55 into 3 is one, uh, 165, it can be 3.5, let's say the time taken is 3.5 hours, then 55 into 3.5, in that case maybe it is difficult for you to directly look at the option and decide, but when it is possible, why not? You get the point? It has to be multiple of 55, so 165 should be the answer. Anyway, let us substitute and verify. What do we do? See, like I said, either solve these or Kobe options. Let's substitute the option. What do we do? We'll assume that option A is the correct answer. 
distance travelled by train is 165. If distance travelled by train is 165, what will be the distance travelled by bus? Let's check. Distance travelled by bus plus 165 has to be 285. From this we can say the distance travelled by bus is 120. Now what is the point in calculating the distance travelled by bus? You have to substitute this and option 1 here. If it satisfies this equation, then that's the correct answer. Check. 165 by 55, 3. 120 by 40, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. Satisfied or not? Which means option is the right answer. If this does not satisfy, then you have to go for the next option, which is option D here in this case. So that's how we solve it. I mean, simple question. There was no point. I mean, I don't mean to say that this has not been covered through the video. We have covered this basic concept through video there, but not exactly this kind of an example.